that Hodge with Board Game Geek here with Matt Dunson with Cosmos, and we're looking at Roll for Adventure. Yes, and we are a band of four adventurers who are going to try and rid the land of the evil of the Master of Shadows. Awesome! Now, <laughs> of course we're going to do this with dice, because adventurers always head into battle with dice, as Dungeons and Dragons has, has shown us. Absolutely. And so the game plays two to four players, okay. and each of us takes the role of an adventurer. We'll have a special ability that matches what character we are, and we'll have a set of dice. Okay. It turns really simple. Essentially, we're going to roll all our dice. You choose one number, and you can place as many of that number as you wish. So, for example, if this was my roll, I could choose the threes, and I could place the threes somewhere, oh, or I okay. could choose ones and just place the ones somewhere. But not in these spaces. No, yes, and they have to essentially match, uh, match where you're going to place. Okay. So there's sort of three main places that you can place your dice. So these are the realms, and what we're trying to do to defeat the Master of Shadows is to rescue a certain number of, of stones of power, oh, yeah. which are locked in his chest over here. And for this particular scenario, we, could, we start with trying to get five uh, to win. And we're going to be able to recover them from these different realms. So, for example, in this realm, I need to place dice to break down these walls. So, for example, I could put these threes here. And the way it works is once I place dice, then I roll all my remaining dice, and then I have to do the same thing. I have to choose one number and place. Now, of course, I might not get it all done on my turn, but then on the next player's turn, maybe they, they're able to, to remain do the remaining threes, and then they would break down this wall. We'd remove this, these dice would go back. And now we're one third of the way to claiming the, uh, the uh, stone of power from this area. Perfect. And the other areas work in similar ways that you're trying to place dice in different ways uh, to, in order to get these gems of power. Would this be corresponding to that gem? No, the colors don't matter, they're oh. just, just, just for flavor. Now, of course, we're not acting by ourselves. Of course. Master of Shadow has plenty of minions to send against us. At the end of, of your turn, once you've placed all your dice, you'll draw the top card of the minion deck, and then that minion will essentially attack. So at the first, their minions are essentially coded to each of the areas. So this desert scorpion will come to the desert, and we'll place it right here, and he attacks any dice that are present there. So if I had placed a one here, for example, then he would throw that that into the maelstrom of the void, I think. My, my, my German is a little bit rusty. Um, and essentially that dice is lost until it's rescued. Um, if, if there were no dice here, then he would instead do one damage to the area. And once an area is reduced to zero, that, that is also how we lose the game. Oh. So we have to be careful. We, we have to exactly. kind of put our Nine dice... All the areas. Exactly. We can't kind of ignore everything, exactly. because otherwise they'll keep doing damage to the different exactly. areas. And of course, what could sometimes happen is the Master of Shadows himself will appear, and he'll actually cause all of the enemies to attack. Oh, no! So you, you'll see that some of the, the enemies have a number, and essentially another thing happens when you reveal an enemy, it will trigger all the other enemies that are on the board of a lower number to attack again. And the Master of Shadows will just make everybody attack. I see. And so, can we place dice here to get rid of monsters? Exactly. So, ah, yeah. So that's okay. another way that you can use your dice to defeat monsters. And Excellent. they need a total of six, amongst anything else. And the third place that you uh, place your dice is uh, in the Realm of Forgiveness or something. Uh, again, my German's a bit, <laughs> bit shoddy. Um, essentially, this is how you rescue the dice from the center. Okay. And you need to place dice to a value of 10 yeah, to, to rescue yeah. them. So the, the game's going to go throughout that way until we've either rescued enough stones or one of the realms has been damaged enough uh, that it's reduced to zero when we lose. The other way you can lose is if we run out of cards in the deck, essentially, and it's just the Master of Shadows. Because one last trick he has up his sleeve is once he comes out and does his dusty work, he gets shuffled back into the deck oh, no. to come again. Uh, he doesn't forget about us. Um, <laughs> And so, yeah, that's basically a role for adventure. There's a bit of variety. There's extra uh, monsters to add to the deck. There's two different sides to each of these realms. That, you, know, you can have a, uh, a different kind of experience and different characters. That is awesome. And so this play is two to four. Two to four. I think about 30 minutes. Yeah, about 30 minutes, yeah. And, uh, and that's available today here at Essen? So in German, it's available at Essen. An English version will come out in 2019. Perfect. So we look for it in the U.S. in 2019. Exactly. <laughs> thanks so much for coming on, Matt. No worries. Thanks for having <laughs>